human anatomy and physiology class, and the cat is a fairly easily obtained specimen that is also a mammal. And so the organs are relatively in the same place and of the same structure as the human organs. And since we obviously can't dissect humans, we do the next best we can. I really like how, uh, so in pictures and things when you're learning in school, like everything's all colored. And so, I mean, when I was little, I used to be like, all right, well, that's exactly what it looks like in actual life. It's all color coded and everything. But then you cut open the cat and you see everything's just gray or pink or brown or nastiness. So it just really helps to uh, clarify that this is actually what you're looking for and it shows you how. My favorite part about it, uh, <laughs> probably poking the uh, gallbladder and everybody freaking out when it's spraying all over the place because it really did explode and it was really gross. I like that I get to see what's um, going on in the human system and to compare it between a cat and a human and to see what's going on in there. Um, we've learned about a lot of the systems and um, how they're each structured and how they function and just that. Um, well, we did sex by system, so we'll first do um, the muscle system, the integumentary system, and then now as we go through the year, we're going to get on to the uh, internal system, so today we're doing the digestive system.